What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to replace an LCD on an iPhone 3GS. Uh, this will also work for an iPhone 3G. When you order your part, you want to make sure that you order the correct one for your phone. Don't order a 3G LCD for a 3GS phone. They will not connect. They will not work. If you're not sure which one you have, I know most of you do know, but for the few of you who don't, I've had, I've had people ask me, so I just thought I'd show you. On an iPhone 3GS, the lettering here on the back is chrome. See how it's shiny and reflective? You can see my face a little bit. On a 3G, it is not. It is just basic gray. 3GS, 3G. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is shut off your phone. So if you hold down the power button for about five seconds, four or five, you'll see the slide to power off. Slide and let it shut off. If your screen is completely white and you can't see it, you can just imagine that it's there. Hold down for five seconds, slide to power off. If you're not sure if you got it or not, don't worry about it. There's another way to sh make sure it's completely shut off, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Uh, so once it's shut off, first thing you want to want to do is remove the two bottom screws located on the bottom of your iPhone. You want to use a what's it called a miniature Phillips screwdriver, a mini. Um, and so yeah, we're just going to remove those. This one's magnetic, so it actually pulls the screws out for me, which is nice. Um, if yours get stuck like that and it won't come out, sometimes some gunk gets stuck in there, you know, just from, you know, basic wear and tear. You should just be able to put it upside down and tap, you know, tap the top of your phone and it should come right out. Okay. So once you get those two screws out, pick them up, put them aside so you don't lose them. Next thing you want to do is take a flathead screwdriver, another miniature. Uh, there's actually two ways to do this. You can use a suction cup and open up your screen. Or you can use this flathead. I prefer the flathead. Some people prefer the suction cup. If you don't have a suction cup, this is the way to do it. What you're going to want to do is at the bottom of your iPhone, not the top, the bottom of it, take your flathead, pinch it in between the rubber and the chrome, like that. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Like that. Once you get it in there, just push it in in between. Not too hard. You don't want to crack your L your uh, your digitizer, your screen. Once you get it in there a little bit, just pry it up and see mine's come up partially. Dig it in, it pops right up. Pretty easy. Once you do that, you can open it up safely. They'll be connected here, here. Just lift it up, pops right off. Once again, pops right off. And then this third one right here, this third connector, what you're going to want to do is there's a little tiny latch. Usually they're black, sometimes they're gray or white. It should slide, it should pop right up. You can use it with a screwdriver, you can use your fingernail, either way, it's gonna pop right up, and then this connector will slide out. Once you get that out, for those of you who couldn't shut off your screen or weren't sure if you did or didn't, just take this fourth connector right here and just pop it up as well. Once it does that, the phone's not receiving any power, and by the time you get your LCD replaced and everything, the phone will have been already shut off completely. The reason you want to do this is because when you put the new LCD on, you want to make sure your screen, your phone isn't turned on. If it's turned on and you connect the, the LCD, a lot of times the LCD will not turn on. It'll just stay black. Or other times it'll just show up as a white screen and you'll think, oh, I broke my LCD. Really didn't. It's just the phone has to basically reboot in order to recognize the LCD. Don't ask me why. I used to think that I was breaking all my LCDs because of that. All right, so once you do that, you can set aside your phone and what you're going to want to do is work on the screen of the LCD. So what you're going to be doing is removing a screw here, here, there's one right here, and then the other side, one, two, three. So you're going to have three, four, five, six screws all together. So just go ahead and take them all out with the Phillips. Okay, once you get your screens out, also, be careful not to accidentally bend these prongs right here. They're very important. They go to your button, okay? You break those, your button's not gonna work. And they're very flimsy. I've broken many of them. You can take, again, your flathead screwdriver, or you can take a fingernail. Flathead usually works better. What you're gonna do is pinch it in between here. I don't know if I can get a close-up on that. You can actually bend this part out a little bit. And all you're doing is pinching it and trying to Bend it upward a little bit so you can get your your LCD out from its housing. 
It does not want to work with me. Okay. Once you do that, see how it pops up there on the bottom? Just take your finger. And, oh, it also may be stuck right here by a little bit of glue. Once again, you can take your flathead screwdriver. Just pull it in between there. Bend it up a little bit. Easily comes off. And then it should just slide right out. Now, be careful when you slide it out. You don't want to get your finger smudges on the inside of the screen. You know, greasy fingers, whatever. It's going to show up. You're going to see it when you put your new LCD in. And it's a pain in the ass to clean it out. Once you get it out, you can take your new LCD that you bought, ordered, whatever. Also, don't get your fingerprints on this. When you originally ordered these, they do also come with a little film on top. You can easily pull it off. It'll usually have like a little yellow tag right here. Just pull it off. Once you do that, simply put your LCD inside your new screen. Make sure this part right here bends up so it goes you know, underneath it like that. And it should slide into place. Once it slides into place, you can just push it in on the sides. Bam. Okay. Make sure it's all in flush. Another, another thing you might want to do is take a wiping cloth and wipe off the screen and make sure you don't see any um, pieces of hair or any kind of dirt smudge or some kind of, you know, anything that might be in between the LCD and the screen itself. This one, I'm not going to do that. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, so once you do that, you're going to take your screws, put them all back in there. One, two, three, one, two, three, you know, six screws, done. Okay. Once you have them all in there, for those of you who disconnected your ribbon right here, just push it back down. It'll either snap back into place or it'll just, you know, it should, it'll, you'll know when it's in. Once it's in, good to go. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get this number three ribbon back inside. And that's going to be kind of hard. I know. Um, make sure the connector right here, this little latch, make sure it's up. It'll slide in much easier with it up. Once you have it up, I usually take two fingers, push these others back, and then take this one, and you're just going to have to feel around until it feels like it's going to slide in. And it is flimsy, so it's not always the easiest. And I have to do mine from behind the camera. So, okay. Slides right in. Once it's in, you can take your finger or a screwdriver, push that latch back down. It's going to stay in nice and tight. It should. If it doesn't stay in nice and tight, you didn't do it right. Just do it again. And once you get that in, next thing you'll connect is the digitizer. All you're going to do is feel around until it feels like it's on there just right. Push down. It'll also snap into place. You could probably couldn't hear it, but I could. Once you get that one in, you want to get your new LCD in. Same thing. And this part, it may be you know, hard once or twice. You're going to have to feel around until it feels right. And this may take you a while, because it used to take me a long time. And it's taking me a long time right now. Pop. Okay. Snapped into place. You can feel it snap when it does it. Also, make sure this is not bent the other way. Make sure it's bent inward, not out of the phone. Otherwise, it's going to stick out of your phone. Okay. Once you get those in, they feel nice and tight. Make sure everything's on flush. You can put your phone back together. And you wanna get a, you're going to want to get the top of the phone in top of the screen into the phone first. So make sure that's flush like that. Once you get those in, you can just let it go down and then you can push your other side down until it feels flush. Okay. Once that's in, you can go ahead and make sure it turns on. Hold down your power button. Bam. Sorry. Hold down your power button. Apple logo will pop back up. And while the Apple logo is popping back up, you can take your two first screws that you had, the long ones, and put them back in at the bottom. <sighs> These screws are important because they keep the phone, next time you drop it, it's going to keep the phone from, the screen from popping open. Get your two screws back in there. And that is it. Your phone should work fine normally. So that is it for the 3GS uh, LCD replacement. If for some reason you turn on your phone and the slider isn't working like it's supposed to be, one of your connectors isn't connected correctly, your digitizer, which is going to be, I'll show you on this one, it's going to be this little ribbon right here. It's going to be number two. Okay? What I want to do is open it back up like I showed you and connect it again. So that's it. The screen should work. 
if you have any problems, feel free to email me. I will try to email back promptly. Uh, and uh, yeah. And hey, if you feel this video was helpful and saved a couple bucks, feel free to donate a little of that to Optimus34031 at Hotmail. Anything from a penny to a dollar, I don't care. It all goes to pay for college books. Thank you.